This video explains how to change the legend title in a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with line 225 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame object, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains three columns, whereby X and Y contain numeric values. And the third column is a group indicator. So if we want to draw our data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 7 and 8 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint, as you can see in lines 10 and 11. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object is appearing, which is called myggplot. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 12 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a scatter plot. And this scatter plot contains two different colors. And the two colors are identified by a legend on the right side of this plot. And as you can see by default, the name of this legend corresponds to the column name in our data frame. So in this case, the legend title is group. So if we want to change this legend name, we can apply the code that you can see in line 14. So in this line of code, I'm using the plot object, my GG plot that I have created before. And then I'm adding to this the scale color discrete function. And within this function, I'm specifying the name argument to be equal to a character string. And this character string corresponds to the new legend title that I want to use. So in this case, I want to use the legend title, my legend title number one. So if you run line 14 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And this time the legend title of our plot is my legend title number one. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the scale color discrete function to change the legend title of a ggplot2 plot legend. However, it's also possible to use the lapse function instead. And this is what I want to show you in line 16 of the code in the next example. And in this line of code, I'm again using the my ggplot object that I have created before. And this time I'm adding to this the lapse function and within the lapse function I'm specifying the color argument to be equal to my legend title number two. So if you run line 16 of the code you can see that our plot is updated once again and this time the legend title is my legend title number two. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.